Hi, I'm Molly and I'm head girl here at Beale Hill Academy. We can't wait to have you join our Beale Hill family in September. We're sorry the transition days are cancelled, so we thought we'd make you a tour video to show you around. Welcome to Beale Hill Academy. You can buy tyres and pay for school trips in this office. It's also where you sign out if you're leaving early or arriving late. The first corridor is English. There are five English classrooms. English lessons are based on a wide range of writing, reading, poetry and lots of different styles. There are clubs after school to be part of writing the school newspaper as well as a creative writing club. English is music. You have music once a week. In music you learn about lots of different styles of music and also to play piano, guitar and drums in lessons. If you want to have one-to-one -one lessons on instruments you can too. There are lots of clubs in music and an award winning choir you can join as well. Bienvenida a España. Right above music in Spanish. You are Spanish twice a week. Don't worry if you've not learned it before, or even if you have, the teachers are really helpful. There are lots of trips for Spanish to each year to Barcelona, Madrid and the Christmas markets. As well as learning to speak Spanish, you'll learn about Spanish cultures, which is really interesting. Down from Spanish and above English is math. There are lots of ways the maths teachers make maths fun, with online art and competitions in lessons. There are maths clubs and competitions outside of lessons too if you want to get involved. This is the LSM. Anyone who needs some extra help and support can come here. This could be with your reading and writing or it could be to see a counsellor or someone because you're upset. The safeguarding officer and the Sen SENCO both work in the LSU and they're always available to help you. That's history and geography. You have these lessons twice a week and they teach you all about the world and the people and the culture from it. Both subjects has clubs and you can join and they go on lots of trips to help you learn outside of To give you an idea where well, we yeah. are, the bottom is English corridor and the top one is Maths corridor. That you have art once a week. As well as doing drawing and paintings, you also learn about textiles, 3D sculpture, and photography. You work with loads of different materials and on lots of projects. Art is really good as you're given an idea and allowed to explore it in your own way. There are also lots of art clubs. Opposite Art is the LRC or Library. This is open from 7 am till 4 pm. There are lots of activities in the library, from film and book club to handwriting lessons and even meditations and lunch times. You can borrow books to take home and there are computers if you want to stay in school to do your homework. Opposite the library at the bottom of art is IT. In IT lessons you learn how to use a lot of different programs, how to code and make your own programs and also about the inside of computers. You can take part in gaming clubs outside of lessons too. Drama once a week. All the work you do in drama links to English. Drama isn't all about putting on play. In these lessons, you explore the different topics and think about the different ways to react to people feedback. You learn to work together in creative ways too. There is a musical each year. You can take part in it as well as a drama club and debate club each year, each week. We go on lots of trips, and the drama department has a link in the into the Lowry Theatre, so lots of professional actors and directors come in to help you, which is really exciting. This is the sports hall. You have PE twice a week. In PE you do lots of activities which change all the time, such as trampolining, dance, keep fit, netball, rounding, boxing, fitness and loads of work. There are lots of teams you can play for to represent school. In year 8 you can apply to be a sports leader, which means you get a qualification in coaching and leading sport. This involves the different primary. It is a really exciting programme to be part of. This is the pupil entrance. It's right in the centre of the school. Outside is the yard and all the sports facilities. PE is just down there and the drama is here. This is where you come into school in the morning. 
The attendance office is here. This is where you come if you're leaving school or you have to give a letter in for an appointment. There are lots of awards for good attendance, which is above 90 percent There are trips to Martin Towers and Chester New Park you to get 100 percent and also there are bikers talking to the centre to turn and a reward morning. At the last one, everyone got a lesson off to have a pulling bus director. This display board is next to pupil attendance. It shows you what your rich clubs are on each night. Once a term, you go to a marketplace morning where you learn about different activities which are on. You then sign up to an activity you like for a block of 10 weeks. There are loads of different clubs such as History Heroes, Choir, Sports Club, Engineering and even a Gardening Club. We literally have something for everyone. If you want a new club, you can ask for it via the student council each term or in your student voice feedback. The main hall is on the main street, just to the left of pupil entrance. This is where we have assemblies and master classes in the morning. It also doubles as a canteen. You use these machines to put money on your account, or your parents can do it by parent pay. If you have free school meals, the money goes on every day for you automatically. You use your fingerprint to pay on the biometric system, so it means you've never lost your dinner money. There is loads of choice of things to eat. There is breakfast club with free bagels, lots of choice at break and at lunch there are paninis, subway style sandwiches, salad bar, pizza, pasta, hot dinners and loads more. The quality is good too, they all taste really delicious. This is the technology department. Technology is split into two areas, design and technology and food and nutrition. You learn both and have half the year in one and half the year in another. You'll have one lesson of technology a week. In food and nutrition, you cook a wide variety of foods, from cakes and biscuits to pies and colours. Everything is provided for you in the lesson, and you just have to pay one pound for your ingredients. So it stops anyone from forgetting their food and not being able to take part. You also do theory work about nutrition and food, so you have a better understanding. In design and technology, you learn all about the different machinery and how to use it. You make lots of products from different materials like wood, metal, and plastic. Last year I made a clock, which was really good. We also do design on the computers, which is called CAD. Above technology is science. Each week you do at least one experiment, which helps you understand the theory of the science, as you're able to explore this yourself. You learn biology, chemistry and physics throughout the year. There are lots of exciting things in science too, like getting eggs and waiting for the chicks to hatch at Easter. We have STEM competitions and clubs for people who enjoy science and there is always something you can get involved in happening. In school. There are stars of the week in assembly and you can collect merit points in lessons as well. Twice a year you can get to trade your merit points in for a prize and these range from a bar of chocolate or pencil case to an iPad or a new bike. The, the you have a student council which meet each term. In farm time you talk about what you would like to improve or change and the student council discuss this and try to make it happen. They have had rewards added to the choices, a panini bar added in the canteen and even got us a new mini bus. The teachers always say, you are the school, so it's really important to them and us that we have a say. We know that starting secondary school is scary and that at the moment it feels more scary than usual. But don't worry, our academy motto is be your health family. This means we treat everyone as they were in our family. We want everyone to feel happy and supportive. We want everyone to enjoy coming to our school and then being passionate about their learning. We don't tolerate bullying or any unkindness to others. We have three values which are aspirational, respectful and proud. We want everyone to reach their full potential and aspire to be their best. We want everyone to be respectful of themselves, of others and of their surroundings. And finally, we want everyone to be proud of what they achieve, who they are and of the new their family. We hope this story has helped you to see your new skill a little bit more. We can't wait to see you soon and I think you become a part of your film family. Bye!